you see one of the things that real estate agents just struggle with the most is thinking that every single thing that we do has to be perfect before they take any action. And you see, that's just not true. You know, a lot of agents that I coach and I train, and even agents at our company, um, it's funny, we talk about this all the time, agents wanting their listing presentation to be impeccable before they make their first prospecting phone call. Making sure uh, they think that their website needs to just be incredibly beautifully designed by a WordPress genius before they can drive any traffic to the website. And I'm here to tell you that's just not the case. That's not the case at all. In fact, imperfect action always wins over perfection. Why? Well, think about this for just a second. And, and we do it all the time in our company. We bring in new agents or experienced agents into our company and we will put them side by side. One agent that doesn't even know what an earnest money deposit is versus an agent that has knows every single thing about the business. And this agent that is either brand new to the industry um, or just inexperienced, we'll say, versus the experienced agent that's overthinking everything, this agent that's taking massive action wins every time. And this business of real estate that you and I are both in is a game of massive action, period. We don't have to worry about the absolute best scripts. We don't have to worry about the absolute best looking presentations and websites and business cards and so on and so on. I know that you want everything to be perfect and I know that you want everything to look amazing, which it can and it will over time but that should never get in your way of taking action today. You see, taking action, even if things aren't perfect, you're still gonna, you're still gonna grow an amazing real estate sales business. And I got a quick story for you. So, and I forget what year it was, but I think it was in 20, uh, 2014 or 2015. It was a year when I listed 100 properties. I think it was 103 properties. And for the longest time, I never, I never saw it, I never kept, I never caught it. Um, until my assistant one day and said, hey, Brandon, come here, come here. Look at this thing on your listing presentation. You got a misspelling on your listing presentation. And so what is the point? The point is I listed 102 or 103 properties that year with misspelled words in my presentation. You see, for a lot of agents, that would drive them crazy. And they're sitting here trying to succeed and they're not making any money, they have no sales, yet all of their materials, their business cards, their website all look incredible. So I ask you, what would you rather have? A thriving business where revenues are consistent, revenues are high, you've got great work-life balance, a great income, but things aren't perfect? Or would you rather have a perfect business that's going extinct? Well, obviously, it's, uh, it's an easy answer. And so, as I leave you today, I leave you with this to think about. As, you're, as you are building your real estate sales business, and you're looking at creating new content, or you're looking at your presentations or your business cards, I would, I would urge you which, with much love and respect that the consumers care much less about those things than we do. You see, all of those things that we think are vitally important, most of the time the consumers could care less. Never once in my career did I have a seller say, oh my gosh, Brandon, you know, I just, your logo looks like shit. I cannot believe you came over here tonight with this logo. Um, never, not once, never has anybody said, oh my gosh, this business card is incredible. And because of this business card, I'm gonna refer you every single person. No, never has that ever happened. And you know, I think we worry about things too much because we get back into a video that I made last week on creative avoidance. Constantly looking for, for anything to do that's not productive. And so I would urge you with much love and respect in this video, in this week's video, to get out there and take 
massive amounts of action, regardless of things in your business are perfect or not. I think what you'll find is that the consumer wants to be understood. You need to learn your communication skills, your sales skills, much more than you need to have a fancy website. And so hopefully that gives you a, a level of clarity as you leave me in this video today. And before you go, you know, if, if you need coaching or you need advice or you need a, a broker leader in your life and you're a real estate agent here in Metro Detroit, I put a link below this video to my schedule, to my calendar. Just click the link, you can put time on my calendar. You and I can have a 20 to 30 minute conversation. I'm gonna walk you through our business plan that our agents here at Brookstone Realtors use and see if it will help you. So click the link below. Hopefully you found value in today's video and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys next week. I appreciate your time. Stay productive.